guys and welcome to this week's topic. Now this week our topic is called Wish You Were Here and it is all about going on holiday. Now I'm afraid me, Miss Swatton and Miss Lees are not taking you on holiday this week as much as we'd like to but instead we're going to be showing you how holidays have changed over the years. Now people have been going on holiday for quite a long time but ever since the 1930s holidays have changed quite a bit. And that is what we're going to be looking at this week. I would like you to have a little think about holidays. Now, if you were going on holiday, what items would you take with you? And I want you to see if you can narrow it down to your five most important items. OK, guys, you need to do a little bit of imagining for me now. So do me a favour and close your eyes. Imagine you are sitting on a beach in Britain. I'm going to paint a little picture for you. Where's the sea and where is the sand? Just imagine whereabouts they are. Is there a lighthouse? Where is it? What does it look like? Can you feel a sea breeze on your skin? What can you see in the distance? Have a look around. Go and find the place where you think you would hear the waves hitting the rock. And then finally, go and find the place where you think the seagulls might go to sleep. Okay, so you imagine the beach in Britain. Biddy Butlin, part one. There is some exciting news for you. A visitor is coming and his name is Billy Butlin. He is famous because he set up the first holiday camps in Britain for families. In 1939, a law was passed that every single working person in the UK became entitled to one week's paid holiday. That means before then, anybody who was at work couldn't have a week off to go on holiday, but after 1939 they can do, and that meant suddenly a lot of people could afford to go on holiday for a whole week. Have a look at a little video and think about any questions that you might have for Billy. Okay, so now you know something a little bit about Billy Butlin. Now we've got a very special surprise for you, year five and six. We have got actual Billy Butlin to read and write us out a letter. Now this real Billy Butlin is definitely not my granddad, is definitely Billy Butlin and he's going to read you out a letter now and he needs your help. Hello everybody, I'm pleased to meet you. My name's Billy Butlin and I've come here today to tell you all about my fantastic holiday camps for families. Here in this seaside town of Minot, something special is happening. I'm building an holiday camp. Have any of you children been on holiday before? Goodness me, you must all be very rich. For a very good price, my holiday camps provide visitors with comfortable accommodation, delicious food cooked by our own chefs on site, and plenty of things to see and do. Now this is the bit where I need your help. I would love some ideas about the kinds of entertainment you think I should include in my new Minehead holiday camp. It's being built there as we speak, but I would like some advice on what to include there. I want my holiday camp to be a relaxing place for hard-working families to come to. We want families to be able to come to Billy Butlin's holiday camp, to switch off, to spend time together, to watch this, to watch this film, and find out more about the kinds of activities we would love to include. I'd love to have some more ideas from you all. Thank you. Okay, so now you've heard from the absolutely 100% real life Billy Butlin, it is now your task time. So, you're going to use your Seaside Holiday Camp activity sheet to record your ideas for Billy Butlin. Now, he asked you to think about lots and lots of different things, so make sure you use the sheet to help structure your answers. We'd love to see what you come up with. Okay, we are now going to hear from Mrs Janet Spartan, who is head of Somerset County Council. Now, she has a bit of uh, a problem that she would like Mr Butlin to solve. Once you've listened to Mrs Janet Spartan, have a little look at the persuasive task in the resources below and have a go at using some of your persuasive skills. Dear Mr Butlin, thank you for your planning request for the new Minehead Holiday Camp. We think this development will be a real asset to the local community, bringing in much needed revenue for the local economy and sharing the beautiful coastal landscape that this area has to offer. Based on estimates of vastly increased visitor numbers for the holiday camp, we now feel it is necessary to improve access to the seafront by building a road through the coastal area. 
This holiday camp is very exciting for the local town and we hope you will find a way to build the road. Please do not hesitate to contact me if you need to. Yours sincerely, Mrs Janet Spartan, Head of Somerset County Council. Foreign holidays. I'm going to read out this paragraph. The first time I read it out, I'm going to stop so you can have a go at filling in some of those gaps which have been covered up. The second time I'll read it, I'll tell you what the answers were. So make sure you write down what your guesses are so you can see if you were right. So, Butlin's holiday camps were very popular until the... When more and more people started to travel abroad for their holidays. By 1971, 6.7 million people travelled for their holidays. By 2005, this rose to 66.4 million people. Has long been the most popular destination for holidays from the UK. Most people traveling by... Also, because more people owned in the 1960s, camping and caravanning became more popular. So did you get them all? Let's have a look. Butlin's holiday camps were very popular until the 1960s, when more and more people started to travel abroad for their holidays. By 1971, 6.7 million people travelled abroad for their holidays. By 2005, this rose to 66.4 million people. Spain has long been the most popular destination for holidays from the UK. Most people travelling by aeroplane. Also, because more people owned cars in the 1960s, camping and caravanning became more popular. How many of those did you get right? After you've had a go at doing that, have a look at the little video to have a look at some other people enjoying their holidays in foreign countries.